Hi there, welcome to the tutorial um, for sc the scoreboard class. Um, we have gone over this a uh, couple of different times in different projects so far, um, but if you are still finding that you're quite unfamiliar with it, we're going to go over that now. So um, what I want to start out with is by just showing you how this program runs. Now it's a pretty simple shooter game with a cannon that is shooting at targets that are coming from the right hand side across to the left. Okay, and the space bar is what allows these bullets to go and shoot the targets. Okay, so it's moving a little slowly right now. Oh man, way slow. Just because I've got a video recording, but it'll do for what we're going to about to show you here. Um, so I'm going to go over just how I added this scoreboard to the world. Um, let's head on over here to Canon World and you can see in the prepare method that I had created um, a new scoreboard. Now not only this but I also created an instance variable at the top of the world that holds on to a scoreboard type object that we've called score. Okay so the first thing you need to have is private scoreboard score at the top. You could call this score one, score two, uh, you could call this ball score, you could call this whatever you'd like this particular word right here. Whereas this has to be the word scoreboard, just like our class name, which we have down here. Okay, so keep that in mind. This is the size of container we need for scoreboard, and this is the name that we've given the container. And then of course, when we make this container it's empty so we've got to add a scoreboard to put into that container by saying new scoreboard and then adding that object to the world. And We've done that all in the prepare method which uh, is called by the Canon World's constructor. We know it's a constructor because it starts with um, public and it has no return type and it has the same name as the class including that capital letter C. Okay, so we've got that scoreboard added to the world, which is great. So now, the problem of trying to actually increase the scoreboard, a lot of students have problems with this because it's more than a one-step problem. So what we need to do is we need to look at the scoreboard class and see what it provides for us to actually add to it. So let's head over to scoreboard. Now, I've just copied and pasted the scoreboard class from another tutorial, um, probably from your Frogger tutorial, that would work well. And you can see that we have a constructor that initially sets the points to zero, then creates a new green foot image that is 100 pixels by 30 pixels tall. It draws a string, right? So a set of um, characters, okay? It draws out the word score with a space and then the current points which is right here. So this points variable is keeping track of the points that are being added to the scoreboard. And then this just says where to draw it inside this green foot image. And then of course we set the image. So that's what happens initially. Now there's one, only one other thing in the scoreboard class and that's the add to score method. So whenever we want to add to score, we actually just call this public method. It'll add one to points it will get the current image that is of the or that the scoreboard is. It'll clear that image. And then if we are at less than five points, we are going to draw out the word score again, print out the word point or the amount of points, and of course at 525 in the green foot image, of course. And then if it doesn't equal less than five, that means we must have won the game. Okay, so therefore it draws out the string that says you win. So we're going to look at how not only can we call that, but how we can manipulate that so that our score is slightly different. Um, and we're also going to look at how we can create kind of a subtract from score method as well. So we'll get out of this. So let's see what we can do here. So the first place we want to go is the place where the user 
ends up getting a point. So we always want to put this, the kind of the start, the, the catalyst or the, um, the piece of information um, that the code that actually changes the points or starts to change the points, we're going to do that in the object that the user has control of. So the user has control of the ball by the fact that it can shoot it. Now there's quite a bit in this ball class right now, but the one place where it should actually add a point is when it checks for a target. So if it's touching a target, it should remove the target, the, the target it's touching, say that three times fast, and then of course it's going to set a variable remove to equal true so that when we get to the end we're going to actually remove that ball from the world. So we're not trying to remove objects and we don't end up with that pesky um, actor not in world um, alert. So let's start by actually trying to call that method. So there's the scoreboard class and it says add to score. Okay, so all we have to do is call add to score then. Let's try it out. Okay, so let's call that method add to score. And like this. Let's see. Huh, cannot find symbol. Interesting. I know why that is, but you may not. So what's happening here is we have no access to this scoreboard object. Okay, the scoreboard object we've created, we added it to the canon world and it's held on inside of this variable called score. So we have that here. Okay, so what we're going to do is instead of passing scoreboards around, which you can do, or, but it gets really complicated for newer coders like yourself, we're going to actually create a method that allows us to update the score. Okay, as much, by as much as we want to update it, but we're going to just update it by one. So inside the world class, we are going to create a public method, public void update score. Okay, and inside this method, what we're going to do is we are going to type the name of the container that is holding our scoreboard currently. And we're going to say dot add to score. Okay, so we're calling the method in the scoreboard class from Canon World. Okay, now the, like I said, the reason we can do this is because we're, Canon World actually hold on to the scoreboard itself. So let's go and see, does this compile? Hmm, well, we still have to get rid of this. What we need to do instead now is we are going to call the update score method inside the ball class. But again, we can't just call this method. This method is not available in this class. So you can see we've got um, act, we've got check for target, we've got move ball, we've got add smoke and remove ball. And then of course we've got the methods that are available to us through the actor class. But what we need to do is we need to get something that is available in the world class, the world that we're currently in. So we can actually use the get world method, which will return the world to that particular spot and then say dot update score. Let's try that. Hmm, can't find update score. Huh, well, I'll tell you why this is. The next part of this is the fact that, okay, so we're getting the world, great. Get world returns a world object. It doesn't return a canon world object. We need to use casting to tell it that we need a canon world object. So we are gonna hit, give it a bracket, and then type in canon world. Okay, and then we're going to type another bracket around here. And like I said, this is called casting. Okay, so it creates, takes this canon, this get world object, okay, gets the world, and then it almost multiplies it by canon world, but it not multiplies, it just casts it to become um, an actual canon world, not just a world. Okay, so let's compile now. Class compiled, no errors, great. Okay, so let's see what happens to our score. Okay, here's it comes a target, we try to shoot at it. 
Yes, point. Still working? Great. Great. Awesome. Fabulous. So that works. Okay, so what about the more complicated situations? Like, oh, I actually want my points to be able to go to 15 or 20. What we can do is go into the scoreboard class and we can change this add to score method to check for a different amount. Um, so if we wanted it to only go up to, let's say, only, they only need three points or the, the game only needs three points, um, or the, sorry, the user only needs to get three points to win the game. And we can say while points is less than three, keep drawing out the score. Otherwise, make it say you win. And you know, we'll even put greenfoot dot stop. Awesome. Let's try it out. So the game should stop once I hit three times. I win. Fabulous. Okay. Super duper. So that's kind of how this whole score thing works.